Joanna Conde, and this is the first in a series of videos I'm going to produce about ChatGPT. I discovered or was taught, learned about ChatGPT last summer, and it has been incredible in my life. I'm a senior, I'm a real estate agent, I'm a real estate appraiser, I teach classes, but I think that probably personally, as a senior, it has made the most difference. And so I decided to do AI for seniors. So the first thing you need to do, and it's so easy to get into it, the first thing you need to do is to get into chat. So this first session is just how to get into chat, how to put it on your computer, and how to start asking questions. So to do that, I'm gonna share my screen, and I'm going to go into how to put chat on your computer. And here are the instructions. It's really simple. You click on a browser like Chrome, Safari, Edge. You type in HTTPS chat.openeye.com and you hit enter. That's all you have to do. And what will happen next is, and it'll take me a minute to do this. I'm going to switch here. I'm going to stop this share. And now I'm going to a new share and you're going to see a new screen that looks like this. What can I help with? Ask anything. So I prepared some questions that you might you know, want to ask is, I am a senior. How can chat GPT help me? Okay, so hit the up arrow. And here it is, general knowledge, technology tips. This is great. How do I program my garage door open? How can I fix this? What does that mean? If I, see the down arrow? arrow? It tells you all of these great ideas. Companionship, yeah. Okay, sometimes I need to talk to it, but planning an organization, planning a birthday party, meal planning, it gives you recipes. It does a whole lot of other things, learning. It's like the biggest library in the whole world. You can ask it anything. Tell me about tariffs. Tell me about this disease. Tell me how I can get more protein in my diet. Tell me about whatever. I heard this quote, where does it come from? What does it mean? You can go on and on and on, and we'll do that in following things. Here's another question to ask. What about security? So what about chat GPT security? I'm worried about security. I don't want my information stolen. I think it's really important, so here we go. No personal data, no memory. I don't have a memory, says chat, and, that, and talks about it as if it's a real person, so I can't retain anything. That means once you close this chat, I won't remember this conversation unless unless you ask it to remember it, or you go back to that conversation lead. No personal storage. It encrypts the conversations. It has, you know, it has practices. It follows standard, standard industry security practice to safeguard the servers and infrastructure. This includes using firewalls, monitoring for suspicious activity, etc. Privacy by design, no sharing of conversations. And therefore, it doesn't put it out like it does in other places where it can be farmed and all of a sudden you get tons of ads that you don't want. So, and it doesn't have any access to your personal accounts. Can't access your email, social media, anything like that. Keep going down in here, secure development. But you can ask that question once you have it open and read all of this. So let's ask another question because I'd like this video to be short. So what should I not tell Shad? That's the next question. Don't give it your full name unless there's a reason for it. I have my full name on it because I'm teaching this class. Do not share your home address or your office address. I'm not going to, going to get out of here. You'll see the login information. I don't want you to sign up, it's free. Don't share your phone numbers, your email address, your bank account numbers, your credit card information, any of this stuff. That's just basic. Health information, private information, sensitive or legal personnel, don't do that. Okay, personal files, anything that might put you or others at risk. But you ask that question and you will have it on your computer. If you want to remember it, say, please store in memory. Just put in, please store in memory. Okay, now the last question is, and then we'll go into logging in. What's the difference between ChatGPT and Google? And now you know.
AI is a language model, interactive. You have a conversation with it. That's why it's called chat. You chat with it. Makes sense. Google. Google is different and it is a search engine and it gives you websites and you do the follow-up. It's not interactive. It's not conversational. Google works by indexing billions of pages and then it produces those pages, but it, it doesn't search in real time. So how they work. So you have all of that information which you can read. I don't have to read it to you. So anyway, that's chat GPT in a nutshell. We'll do another one soon, and then you, we'll show you how to log in, or you can log in yourself for a free version, which gives you the ability to ask 20 questions. It's free, and all you have to do is provide your email. So until next time, this is Joanna Conde with AI for Seniors. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll tune in the next time. And thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.